Charlie, I am not going to tie myself, so I'm looking for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ready? <laughs> Go. Okay, so I'm going to be talking to you about how do we effectively use TAs in the classroom. I know that they are a little bit scarce at the moment. You might not always have a TA, but when you do have them, we've got to really think about how we are maximising their use. Okay? So, firstly, my number one thing would say, look at how you are preparing the TA for being in your environment and how are you collaborating to get the best out of them and for them to get the best out of you. So firstly, uh, when you look at areas like the DIS report, they have argued that if you don't have that time to work with your TA, then basically the students who have access to them are making less progress than the ones that don't. So it's actually having a detrimental impact. So if we're going to have a TA in, in our classroom environment, we've got to think about how we are using them and how we are working with them. So firstly, I would say plan in advance for how you are going to use your TA. Think about, for example, do you have, and sorry, it sounds like such a negative connotation, doesn't it, a hit list. But think about who your TA should be working with in the room and give them a list of students and say, right, we're going to do this activity, I want you to work with X, Y and Z and then the children that you are going to help support. Secondly, a lot of TAs have an unbelievable wealth of knowledge, especially in a very specific area. We've got two are absolutely amazing with autism. So utilise their experience and their knowledge. Even if you just drop them an email and say, look, I'm having this problem, is it something that I'm doing that I could be doing differently? They're going to be really effective with things like differentiation. Um, they can like, give feedback on a resource that you've made. They can help give feedback on a lesson, on a task. So use what they're seeing and use their experience and their expertise. Um, you might have a TA that's assigned to your class or a specific student. I know that we are all short on time. I know that time is something that we just don't have. But if you can plan to have that five minutes even where you give guidance in advance, they can then help with further chunking down. So use them as a differentiation resource. They are unbelievably helpful. Also, we get a lot of students where change is a massive, massive problem. If you have a TA that is working specifically with a student or with a class, if you tell them about anything that's going to change, it could be that you, are, you know you're going to be off, you're going to change topic, seating plan, use them to help create that environment where it's less stress because they help prepare the students for change. How am I doing, Charlie? A minute left. Okay, fabulous. Okay, so what we don't want to see, what we don't want to use is this Velcro TA model. All of the... I read it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> child all of modern research says that this is actually you're basically excluding them within the classroom environment so think about small group work because part of this is actually trying to create some level of social inclusion and interaction within your classroom so think about certain activities like could my TA work with three of these students but still within the classroom and remember they are not a substitute for you. You are the expert, you have the knowledge. I know you don't always feel like it, but we are. And therefore, work with the TAs. Do not have those TAs just like the Falco model, working with those specific students. It doesn't work. Um, very, very quickly, lastly. Cheers, Charlie. Um, if you want your TAs to do intervention outside of the classroom, there is evidence that shows that this can be beneficial, but you really need to consider the following when you are doing so. What are the long-term benefits for them being outside of your classroom environment without your direct support? Have the interventions been linked to the curriculum? Because otherwise, think about trying to get those kids back into your class and how challenging that might be. Work with the TA so that they are sure on what programme is being developed and have clear targets so that the TA and the students are aware of what they are trying to achieve being out of the room and then lastly, make sure that this time outside of the class is short. 
really you should be looking at, at the first, like as a maximum six weeks and then review so that they can get back into the class. Thank you very much.